hardly see, and I can barely walk. Help this poor old mare out, why don't you? Sure, Granny. What you got set up over there, darling? Is it a water slide? No, Miss Smith. I've set up a picnic for us. Oh, darn. My old eyes deceived me. I can hardly see, you know. Yeah, I think you mentioned that. Ah! What's wrong, Granny? There's farming in those bushes. It looks like a teeny tiny mole. Uh, I don't see anything, Granny. Not those bushes, the ones on the other side of my barn. Ain't no critters gonna mess up my crops. Huh? Get away from my barn, you overgrown rodent! <laughs> Uh, wow. I thought she said she could barely walk or see. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Sweet Apple Acres. Uh, I don't think so. So, yeah, I considered doing this review in a southern accent for like two seconds. I am from the south, so believe me, it really does come easy. And Granny Smith in the intro was actually based on my great aunt. And that poor, poor lady was just so pitiful. Unless she didn't want to be. In reality, she was tough as nails, and even though she claimed she couldn't see, she could see everything that happened in the entire neighborhood, including a teeny tiny snake up under the bush. I kind of think that Granny Smith is the same way. Anyway, this playset is beyond amazing and comes with two figures, Crimson Gala and Granny Smith. I actually purchased this on eBay for about 20 bucks from Toys R Us. So, let's take a look at this ridiculously show-accurate playset outside the box! And I cannot express how excited I am to see these detailed accessory sets for the minis! Granny Smith is hilariously adorable. She has those floppy ears and a shawl, and she even has little wrinkles around her knees. I really wish that Hasbro would put this much effort into the brush of a line. Miss Smith also has the little buns in her mane and tail. Granny also comes with a walker that attaches to the grooves under her front hooves so that she can putt around and pretend she can't walk. Crimson Gala is also pretty cute. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's in a new pose. The set comes with a chipmunk or a rat or a mole, your guess is as good as mine, and a lot of accessories to throw at him, including a rocking chair and a barrel of apples. The set also comes with a picnic table full of applicious treats, as well as a mat. I think this barn may be the most show accurate structure we've ever gotten from Pony. It's seriously almost perfect, and I want a larger one for the brushables. And the barn doors do open and close so your ponies can go inside. The side of the barn is just as amazing as the front, only the doors and windows here are just facades. Probably the most disappointing thing about this playset is the back side of the barn. There are two floors, but they are extremely simplistic. I guess you really can't expect much since this set is so small. The figures and accessories do fit in well though, and it looks a lot better furnished. Well, that is it for Sweet Apple Acres! If you enjoyed this review and want to see more, please click subscribe! You can also follow me on social media for behind the scenes, pictures, previews, and other junk. You guys have a good one!
I think Granny's a whole lot sprier than she leads on. Bye, guys.